Before watching this video, please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming classes. In this session, I want to explain you the simple problems on constant pressure process. So before going to the actual problem, I want to explain constant pressure process and its formulas that is in constant pressure process that is pressure is equal to constant so whenever we apply the first law of thermodynamics to the constant pressure process that is q is equal to w plus delta u here uh, w is equal to pdv that is as the pressure is constant so w can be rewritten as a p into v2 minus v1 uh, as the condition for the v2 v2 and v v1 volumes can be written as a that is x2 vg2 minus x1 vz1 this is the final condition and initial conditions which are represented with the dryness fractions so then you can write this as a as a, at, a, at a constant pressure the specific volumes both the specific volume that is vz2 and vz1 that is specific volume at this pressure is equal that's why you can uh, uh, divide you you can take as a common for the vz that is x2 minus x1 so then next one is the delta u that is a change in internal energy that is u2 minus u1 as you know that for the formula for the u is equal to h minus pv that is the h2 minus p2 v2 minus u1 per h1 minus p1 v1 you can rearrange this you can rearrange this that is h2 minus h1 is minus p2 v2 plus p1 v1 by multiplying minus and minus 1 then h2 minus h1 minus p into v2 minus v1 then you can p, p into v2 1 minus v, v2 minus v1 you can write this as a pvz x2 minus x1 then you submit this delta u and uh, w in this q is equal to p v z x2 minus x1 minus h1 minus h2 minus p v z x2 minus x1 send so, both these are strike graph then the remaining one is that so this this is plus as uh, this is the double this is w plus delta u so w plus delta u this is plus then h2 minus h1 is q is equal to so delta h so now we are moving to the uh, problem that is 1 kg of steam, 1 kg, one kg mass of the steam, 1 kg of steam at a pressure of 2, 22 bar and the dryness fraction 0 0.9 is heated at constant pressure. Here constant pressure is mentioned at 3, 300 degrees C. Determine the heat transfer work done change in internal energy. Here initial condition of the steam is pressure 22 bar and dryness fraction is 0.9 that's why the condition of uh, initial steam is wet uh, wet and is heated at constant pressure up to the 300 degree. then it is heated this wet steam is heated up to a temperature of 300 degrees c so at a constant pressure at a pressure p1 p uh, at that is 22 bar 300 degrees c this is 300 degrees C. You first of all, you should you can check the at uh, saturation temperature. Saturation temperature at 22 bar. So at 22 bar, saturation temperature is 217.2. Uh, so the saturation temperature of the uh, saturation temperature at the 22 bar is 217.2. Uh, so one, As the the temperature is above the saturation temperature, you can take this as a T superheated temperature. This is the superheated temperature at pressure 22. This is the condition 1 and this is the condition 2. Now you can take the uh, values values from the steam tables at a pressure 22 bar and, uh, and the pressure uh, 22 bar and 300 degrees C. From the steam tables the values at a pressure 22 bar uh, that is T is equal to 217.2 and uh, we see that is the specific volume 0 0.0906 uh, and uh, HF is as a 930.9 so all these values can you can read from the you can read from the steam tables that is at 22 bar at uh, 22 bar that is 930 this is uh, 20, at 22 bar 930 
ट्वेंटी टू ओवर नाइन थर्टी पॉइंट नाइन सो यू कैन नाइन थर्टी पॉइंट नाइन एंड वन एट सिक्स टू दिस इज एच एफ जी दिस इज एच टू सेवन एंड वी वी जी कैन बी रीड एज ए ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट पॉइंट नाइन जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन जीरो सिक्स एंड टी जी दट इज पॉइंट टू वन सेवन एट दिन द सेम वे यू कैन आलसो राइट द वैल्यूज ऑफ Enthalpy from the superheated tables. This is from the superheated tables. From the superheated tables, you can note down the so values of enthalpy. This is superheated at twenty-two bar. This is twenty-two bar and three hundred degrees C. This is twenty-two bar and three hundred three zero one nine point three three zero one nine point three. At the same and at the same time, you can also You can also take the specific volume at 300 degrees C, and another table that is the specific volume of superheated steam. That is, that is for 22 bar. This is 22 bar, and a 300 degrees C. It is 0.1134. 0.1134. So all the values can be noted from the can be noted from the uh, steam tables. Can be noted from the steam tables. Once all these values you can. Uh, noted you can simply submit the uh, formulas so here the first one is heat transferred heat transferred is equal to as i already explained you here heat transferred is equal to h2 minus h1 you can calculate h2 minus h1 h1 is the enthalpy at the final condition and h1 is the enthalpy in the in enthalpy of initial steam so here the conditions so is very very important initial condition is dry wet steam final condition is superheated steam that's why this formula can be modified as this formula is modified as h2 minus h1 into h2 minus h1 can be modified as h sup as the condition final condition of the steam is superheated that's why this is h sup at condition 2 and h1 is the wet steam that is h wet at condition at a, at a wet state so h2 can be directly read from that is at 300 degrees 3019 but h1 wet steam the formula for which wet steam is equal to this is h sup minus this is the formula for wet steam is hf plus x x1 into this is the latent heat so you can submit the values that is h sup is equal to 3 h2 that is h sup is equal to 3019.3 so hf what at one that is 930.3 Point nine is the dryness fraction, and this is eighteen point six eight point one. So once you calculate that, this is, you can you can take this as a you can you can obtain the value Q is equal to so three zero one nine minus two six one zero. This is four not eight point nine. So here another important if the mass is given if the mass is given then you can, you should multiply this with m but here it is stated that one kg of steam that there is no need of putting the into m next work done work done is equal to w is equal to so p into v2 minus v1 in constant as the pressure is constant so you can rewritten as a the p into as the condition 2 is superheated steam this is v sup minus as the condition 1 is wet steam that is v1 is represented is modified as a x1 specific value into its specific value so here pressure must be multiplied with 100 so as the bars must be converted into kilo newtons that is p1 As the pressure is equal twenty two bar, so it into hundred into V sup is already noted from the steam table at superheated temperature three hundred degrees C. This is point one one three four minus x one is equal point nine into point zero nine zero six. That is at a so this is noted from the twenty two bar specific volume. So you can calculate this as a seventy point zero nine two kilojoules. And next, it is asked that change in the internal energy. So, change in the internal energy can be easily obtained by as we have already calculated both heat transfer and work 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 energy work done. So, according to the first law, Q is equal W plus delta U. So, that is the as you need the delta U that is Q minus W that is four not eight point nine minus seventy point zero nine two. Is equal to three three eight point eight kilojoules. Here another another example on the 
for the constant volume process here a cylinder contains 0.5 meter cube of steam at 500 kilo newtons per meter square and 250 degrees c if the steam is cooled at a constant pressure until the volume becomes 0.15 meter cube calculate the final dryness fraction the work done and heat energy transferred here the initial condition of the steam is given as a 500 kilo newtons per meter so as i already told that 100 kilo newtons per meter square is equal to 1 bar so this can be written as a 5 bar so p is equal to 500 kilo newtons per meter square as 100 meter square is equal to 5 bar so that is 100 is equal to 1 bar 100 kilo newtons is equal to kilo newtons per meter square is equal to 1 bar you can 500 k you can rewritten this 500 kilo newtons per meter square as a five bar so here the initial condition is uh, completed with five, five, 500 kilo newtons per meter square and 250 degree c at five bar at five bar saturation temperature so you should uh, identify saturation temperature from the steam tables at the five bar at the five bar it is 151.9 so one at saturation temp the temperature above the saturation temperature is called as the superheated temperature at five bar it is 151.9 as the temperature uh, 250 degrees is above 150 151.9 that's why this temperature is can be called as a t superheated temperature so now then the second second condition as it is cool to at a pressure constant pressure that is to the volume of v2 is equal to 0.15 meter cube so now it is asked to calculate the final dryness fraction so final dryness fraction uh, fin before going to the final here the mass is not given so final dryness fraction and work done and heat transfer as a, and a, another important point is mass is not given here so uh, before going to calculate the uh, all these uh, uh, dryness fractions uh, heat energy and uh, and work uh, so you should calculate the mass of the steam here mass of the steam as i as, pre uh, as i in previous uh, videos i tell that that is v is equal to actual v v is equal to x v z that is or v is equal to mx vz that is v is equal to mx vz mx vz that is the mass of the steam dryness fraction and specific volume it's specific volume so at condition one it is v1 is equal to as it is a superheated steam v1 is equal to m v soup and x and v, vz is not there because it is a superheated condition this is modified as a mass of steam into so specific volume at superheated then m is equal to v1 by v soup that is v1 is given as a 0.5 v1 is given as a 0.5 meter cube and v soup that is at a 5 bar 250 degree c you can uh, you can write the specific volume at 250 degrees c 250 degrees c and 5 bar from the steam tables at uh, um, from the steam tables that is superheated superheated at 5 bar you can get that at 5 bar 5 bar and 250 degrees c this is 2961.1 so this is the enthalpy for specific volume for specific volume at 5 bar this is 0 0.474 0 0.4744 so you can write this h soup is equal to 2961 and v soup is equal to 0 0.4744 by using these values this value specific volume v1 is given and v soup you can submitting the values here that is 1.05 kg that is mass of the steam is 1.50 kg then once the once the mass is calculated then you can uh, calculate the final dryness fraction that is final dryness fraction here final volume is given here final volume as a 0.15 meter cube that is vt is equal to mx2 vz2 mx2 vz2 as at condition vz2 VG, as v, volume final volume is given so m is known and uh, at constant pressure vz vz that is the specific volume at a constant pressure that is pressure is 5 bar at 5 bar 
uh, you can identify the you can take the values from steam tables you can take the values from steam tables uh, set at 5 bar at 5 bar this is 5 bar at 5 bar point uh, 374 so point 374 that is VZ so you can submit the values M and VZ from the steam table you can calculate the X2 that is V2 by M into VZ2 so this is the X2 this is 0.379 once uh, the uh, dryness fraction is calculated then you can go for the work done the work work done so work the formula for the work is equal to P into V2 minus V1 that is as the work done is called PDV, P into V2 minus V1. So, condition 2 is the dry steam, condition 1 is the in the final kind of initial condition of the steam is superheated. That's why this formula can be modified as so V2 as a wet steam that is X2 VG2 minus final condition is super V V soup 1. Then you can submit P that is pressure in 500 in kilo newtons per meter square. So X3 is 0.379 it is calculated and uh, VG2 0.37 from the steam tables minus so V soup is already taken from the steam tables that is 0.44 uh, 0.4744 so you can calculate the value of work done that is 166 kilojoules per kg here here once here it is calculated work done as a kilojoules per kg you should multiply this with mass that is one point mass is calculated is 1.05 so work done must be calculated the m into so work done that is 1.05 into 166 is equal to 174.3 kilojoules so then it is asked to find the heat energy so heat energy q is equal to m into h2 minus h1 as h2 is equal to so condition 2 is the wet steam condition 1 is the superheated steam so condition 1 for the m is equal to already known formula for the wet steam is equal to so formula from the wet, wet steam is equal to hf plus x into hfg the values at pressure 5 bar so hf is noted here 640.1 hfg 2107 so once the values are taken from the steam tables you can simply submit the hf value 640 so x is calculated here 0.379 that is that condition 2 so all these are conditions and uh, this 217 that is the h2 that is 2107 so this is the initial condition as it is a superheated steam that is 2961 it is already taken from the steam tables then the value of heat transfer is equal to minus 1598 kilojoules that is minus indicates the heat rejected thank you for watching this video please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming classes and share this video.